الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله ربه بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله فبلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة وكشف الله تعالى به الغمة وجاهد في الله تعالى حق جهاده حتى أتاه اليقين اللهم اجزه عنا وعن والدينا وعن الإسلام والمسلمين خير ما جزيت به نبيا عن أمته ورسولا عن رسالته واجمعنا اللهم به في دار كرامتك ومستقر رحمتك كما آمنا به ولم نرى أما بعد فإن الله عز وجل أوصى عباده بتقواه في غير ما آيت من كتابي عز وجل قال سبحانه يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وقال عز من قائل يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا وقال سبحانه يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I testify that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah with no partners. None is like Him. He is like no one subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has all the characteristics and attributes of majesty subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I testify that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the best of all the human beings. He is the final messenger sent to the entire humanity chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to seal all the messengers came with the Qur'an al-Kareem, <clears throat> the final message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the entire creation to take people out of darkness to guidance and light. Oh Allah, shower your blessings and peace and mercy and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his household and family, his companions and successors and everybody who follows in the righteous path to the day of judgment. Ameen. Oh Allah, gather us, gather us with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the ultimate abode of comfort and peace in Jannah as we have faith and belief and Iman in him and we did not see him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Al-Qur'an wa ayyuhal ikhwa. Al-Qur'an. Ramadan is the month of Al-Qur'an. Ramadan shahr al-Qur'an. And if we will not start the relation with the Qur'an in the month of Ramadan, so when? This khutbah, inshallah, these few minutes 23 minutes or so, I'll be talking about the Qur'an al-Kareem, the source of guidance of Muslims, not only the slogan of Muslims, not only the book of Muslims, not only the recitation and the, the words of God that recited by Muslims, but I'm talking about the source of light, the source of life, the source of guidance for Muslims, the constitution that they base their lives on, the guidance that they take to guide their ways. The light that they follow so that they see their ways. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, re has revealed the Quran al Kareem. It's not only to be recited, it's not only to be chanted in a very nice way. All of these are very beautiful and rewardable things to say and to follow. But more importantly is to apply the Quran in our lives and we will see how virtuous and uh, the Quran al Kareem is, and how rewardable is the person who recited the Quran al Kareem, how, how much he will get out of it. First of all, we do need al Quran al Kareem in our lives. It is not like additional, additional part. It is not like without it, we can make it, we may not be able to make it. It's not like this. 
We have to have faith and iman that we need the Quran al Karim. All humans, this life cannot work best without the Quran al Karim. Because it's simply the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this life. Quran al Karim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent it to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and then to all people in the time of darkness. And it works best with a group of people who used to be just like <clears throat> astray. They were in the middle of nowhere in the desert, killing each other, killing even their, even their own children, just because they, they happen to be females. And they didn't like females. He came, and the, the Prophet Allah subhanahu wa chose him and sent the Quran to him, and in few years, you will find the leaders of the entire humanity, the light that is still shining, up till now started in this, in this area and that place uh, through that man sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this month during this month shahr ramadan alladhi unzila fi al-quran is the month of ramadan when quran was first revealed huda lil nas wa bayinati min al-huda wal furqan as guidance for people and clear signs of guidance and criteria scale to differentiate between what's truth and what's not and this is the very meaning of the hadith when Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he was asked by a, a companion who said, Ya Rasulullah, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned fitan and a lot of turmoils, a lot of disagreements, a lot of darkness. You couldn't be able to see the way. They asked the Prophet Sallallahu when he mentioned these fitan and this, you know, this time he was describing this time that um, you you will never be able to discover what is right from what is wrong because they all look the same. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will give the answer very clearly, the makhraj, the way out, the solution for this dilemma is the Qur'an. Simply, the Word of God is the Qur'an. Qur'an is the solution for all of our fitan, for the fitan of our life, for all of our distractions, for all of our deviations. Qur'an will be the answer and the solution. What I want to highlight in these few minutes is relation between Qur'an and Ramadan. The very important point in time right now in Ramadan that we need to focus on to start. The revolution and then the renaissance. Revolution for our lives through Qur'an. And we will never be able to make the revolution in our lives, the change in our life, without having the relation first of all of the Qur'an because every Muslim knows what Qur'an is and every Muslim memorizes part of the Qur'an at least Surah Al-Fatiha so that he or she will be able to pray but Qur'an is not working we don't have we don't see this revolution in the lives of Muslims why the answer is we did not take the first step for this Qur'an to work in our lives to make the revolution we did not start the relation the full relation with the Qur'an as constitution. As constitution, not only as a book of uh, songs and, and, and some uh, words to be said in prayers or in weddings or this and that. It is a book for guiding our lives. Shahr Ramadan alladhi unzila fi al-Qur'an hudan lin nasi wa bayinatin min al-huda wa al Look at the life of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look at the relation of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the Qur'an in the month of Ramadan. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam first when he used to receive Qur'an, he used to recite it very quickly after Jibreel. Jibreel is getting him few ayat and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam re repeating the ayat so that he will commit it to his memory Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He, he uh, feared that he might forget some of it. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala revealed the very clear words we will make you recite and you will never be, forget it. So, when we recite it, you just listen and follow. Do not uh, repeat it and, and do not make this again. So, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the cases like this, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala would reveal the Quran to his heart and it will stick in his heart because he is the mediator between us and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Yet, he will be reciting Quran day and night. He's standing almost all night long praying and reciting Quran. In the month of Ramadan, Jubil would come to him to stay.